it is time for another daily YouTube live stream. I'm Zach. Welcome back. Let's play some games. Today it is Sunday night, and we're doing what we do every Sunday night, which is play Cities Skylines. We are building the town of Sporks. It's the town we've been working on for a while now. And today we are going to focus on fixing the horrible traffic problems I have in this city. <sighs> Uh, we designed it with some traffic flaws, so we're going to address all of those today and uh, do some other fun things, too. Oh, another shocking thing. Today is an update day for City Skylines. There's a brand new update with a brand new item in the game that I'm going to put in the city, so stay tuned for that. Hello to everybody in chat. I see Liam's in chat, Gift Gamer's in chat. How's it going, everybody? Everyone's saying, City Skylines, yay! Yeah, that's how I feel too, guys. That's how I feel too. All right, here's the city. Yeah, how's your guys' weekend been going? Um, I'm in a really good mood. Not only is it City Skylines, it's been a really great weekend for me. I'm really tired, uh, but it's been like one of those weekends where I've done a lot. It's been really busy, uh, and so I'm really tired, but like it's, a, it's the kind of tired that you're tired from being really productive over the weekend and getting a bunch of stuff done. So it's like you're tired, but you feel good about it. <laughs> uh, not only am I, like, tired, it's also been both Saturday and Sunday today for me have been um, the perfect weather in Phoenix. And I've talked about this a couple of times. There is, like... There is weather in Phoenix that it just, it hits the perfect temperature and it's just wonderful. It's like the weather is like, it's like sunny and warm, but not hot. It's just the perfect temperature. And when that happens, it's like, it's almost like your body gets like wrapped in a blanket and it's like, you just completely relax and so, like, I've just wanted to take naps. I think yesterday I posted on Discord, I took, like, a two-hour nap. It's because the weather is so amazing, and I'm just completely relaxed, and I'm just like, oh, my goodness. So I'm, like, doing all this work and getting stuff done. I'm sleepy because of the weather. I got all Oh, my goodness. And so now this is, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm in the perfect mood to sit here and chill with you guys and play some City Skylines and fix my traffic and find out what the new item is from the update. It's all going to be good stuff. Uh, Liam says, Zach is on Pacific time zone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. New time zone today for everybody. New time zone. So my time zone doesn't change because I'm in Arizona, but it changes for all of you guys who do have daylight savings time. Um, so I am now streaming an hour later for everybody. And I'm sorry for you guys on the East Coast. I know it's very late for you, but uh, time doesn't change for me. So all of you in your states, you need to stop doing daylight savings time. Because we've done it in Arizona, and it's amazing. Alpine is in chat. Alpine says, you still don't have traffic manager? No, I do. I do have traffic manager. We'll probably use it today to fix my traffic problems. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, the, the reason I've been so busy is I've set up. On my business channel, I don't know if you saw the video I posted today, but I announced for my business channel, I have a brand new subscription service that I set up through Subscribestar. I don't know if you guys have heard of Subscribestar. It's like Patreon, but it's like the free speech version of Patreon. And I'm all about free speech, so I was like, I'm going to support this platform. So I have a new, uh, new portal on Subscribestar um, if, you, if you're a support my business channel. It's $5 a month and I'm going to have extra business videos on that portal. So exciting. I, I mean, I'm so excited about it. I've spent so much work like setting it up and I, uh, it's, it's going to be great. So yeah, I announced that today on my business, uh, on my business channel. And so that's, 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 that's what I've been working on. All right. I thought today we would start, you know, we're talking about traffic. I thought we would st start by kind of doing an overview of what the city is like. So I'm way up here in the sky. And so over here, we have Garbage Island. Uh, that's Scrappy Zebra's part of town. 
uh, we have Vampire Valley straight down here. So you can see these are kind of lined up like this. And then this is the ma this is the airport. This is a major downtown here. And then it kind of goes into this inlet. This is like the main town. This is where we started. This is where Sporks High School is. This is the main, the original main street. We have some factories over here on this side of the lake. Let me zoom in a little bit. And then as you go back into the valley, then you have the mansions district over here. Um, and this is what we worked on last week, this little area here. And then if you continue going up the valley, on the other side of the valley, this is the um, rest area uh, truck stop thing that we built. Um, and then continuing down the coastline, we have our fishing village here in this little inlet here. And the main traffic problems that we face go between this stretch of road that connects the fishing village to the rest of the city down here and it has a, this highway along the coast which is beautiful and you know one of the frustrating things is there's a highway that goes underneath the mountains right here so this is a a, a really really nicely put together highway but for some reason everybody wants to take this long route over by the the ocean which i don't blame them because it's very beautiful now last week we um we said no trucks we stopped all trucks from going down this roadway, and I think it's helped a little bit. I actually think that has helped. Does it see? It doesn't seem quite as busy as it was when we came here. And looked at this last week, um, but it is still pretty busy because you come over here and you can see it's just it's just lines and lines of cars. They're just all backed up, and I think this road is probably too small. To handle all this traffic yeah see it's all the way down here car after car after car after car and this is really like destroying my my metrics for the city oh here's our beautiful marina i do love this marina here look at we got a yacht in the marina oh gosh it's so nice um oh shoot all these buildings are like abandoned why are they abandoned no one collected dead people is this the same reason no one collected dead people. Oh, shoot. We're going to reset these because we last time we just put this crematorium in right here. So it probably, it probably, uh, this probably happened before we put those in. Yeah, this is, these are all dead people. So now we have that, this guy in, it should collect these people pretty quickly. So let's reset that. You can reset buildings using the move it mod. You just select the building and then you come over here and it's, there's this thing called reset objects. And it just resets it. Um, I didn't know this at, at first. And, like, this is, like, such a game changer. Because otherwise you'd have to, like, de delete it and re-put it down. And this is just so easy. I love that they have this feature. All right. So, oh, it looks so beautiful again. <laughs> it's so nice. Um, so let's do a quick look around. Um, starting over here. Starting at this rest area, I do, I mean, I love this so much. I can't stop looking at this. It just looks so amazing. We've been, we worked on this a couple of streams. Uh, you got the hotels. Now, I think it is miss, uh, you know, coming back and looking at this again, I think it's missing just a couple of touches that I want to add in. Liam says, there's a bill trying to change it to be daylight savings time all the time. So that would mean Arizona would be permanently on Pacific time. Yeah, you know, I, I, there's been a bill in Congress a couple of times to do it, and I don't know why they don't just vote for it. Like, why don't they just do it? It seems like everyone would be on board with it. Chase is in chat saying Andre's stream kept loading, so I came over here. Well, good to see you, Chase. Yeah, Chase uh, posted in Discord that uh, a screenshot of me chatting in TG's uh, Fortnite stream, which is going on right now. Um, I don't, how did you see it though? Like his chat goes by so fast. I mean like super fast. I don't know how he saw my name pop up. <laughs> uh, cause th th that was an awesome game too, by the way. I don't know if you saw that full game that he was playing. He, typical gamer was playing a game of Fortnite and he pulled out the most incredible win. He had no heals, no mats, and he just... He just got the victory royale. It was incredible. So anyway, I chatted good game in his thing and then uh, 
Chase saw it and screenshotted it and pointed it in Discord. That's so funny. Uh, okay. Yeah, if I wasn't streaming, I'd probably still be watching a stream. All right, so what I want to do, I there needs to be some trees over here. This just looks a little bit bare. So let me just grab, I think they'll just grab some of these. Boom. And just put a couple over here. Probably just, we'll just put two. Just a little, little touch of something over here. And then over here, I think there should, like, I love that we have bushes down here along the river. I would like a little bit more bushes here. Um, and there are some, like, big bushes in here. Let me see. Where are the big bushes? Regular bush. Are these big? These are not all that big. Where is... Uh, I thought there was a bigger bush. Oh, this is bigger. Regular bush? That's bigger. Oh, gosh. I'm at the point where I have so many things. Oh, this is what I want. Yeah, so these are like bushes, but th these are like pretty big. And I just want to like, I feel like there would just be a little bit of a more of a barrier other than just these like little trees over here. So I just want to kind of line this up. Yeah, it just adds a little bit, a little bit more of a border here. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So yeah, just a couple more touches on here. Um, other than that, I love that this is, we got the little windies here. We got the KFC over here. I mean, it looks so realistic. I love it. I love it. Oh, I want to check. I still don't think anyone has stopped by here. <laughs> Cars charged last week. How does this work? Like, this is supposed to be... This is the rest area. It's supposed to be like some bathrooms. But it's supposed to function. Like, you can see, it's supposed to function like a... Um, a toll booth. It's supposed to function like a toll booth. I guess it. I guess it doesn't. I guess it doesn't register that it's connected to this road. So I don't know how to do that, but I, I mean, I think it looks good to. I mean, I, I have it here for looks, and it looks exactly how I want. So we're just gonna leave it. It's just. It just looks nice. Uh, Chase says, I was watching the whole game, and then I looked at chat, and I saw Zach's face, and I was like, woo, Zach. <laughs> Liam says, maybe Zach should learn from TG more. Hey, I wish TG would give lessons, okay? If he gave Fortnite lessons, I would sign up in a hot minute, okay? <laughs> that would be That would be amazing. I would be the best Fortnite player ever, I'm sure. Couple of lessons... Boom. I would be I would be amazing. Okay. So here Uh this is what we worked on last week. We worked on this area here. And you can see um I talked about changing all of these houses to these the the houses that they're, they're currently in. Before they were like the highest level houses. And I changed them all to the lowest level houses and then did historical buildings on all of them. Oh my gosh, it took so long. You know, I used to have a mod where when you plopped the houses down, it would be historical. So you didn't have to click this little button. But that mod um, caused conflicts with other mods I had. So I had to, to trash that mod. And so now I have to go back to clicking the button for every single building. And it's so just like, oh my gosh. It's just like click, click, click. Every single one of these buildings, I had to click this little thing. I don't know why they couldn't just make the mod... So that it does this automatically. Uh, but I changed all these buildings. They used to be all like the skyscraper looking buildings. And now now this is the look I wanted. I think it looks so cute. There are all these like cute little colors. It's just a nice little neighborhood along here. Um, and then over here, we have these this, this cool little strip of commercial shops along here. These are all very cool looking. And we have... Our uh, <laughs> nuclear blast protection bunker 
Um, it's called the Doomsday Vault. Look at that. I think this looks fantastic. It's all surrounded by the orchards. This is the prettiest looking nuclear disaster bunker I've ever seen. Um, I think I do like, I love how the orchards look. I think we're going to do some more orchards along here. Because, like, look at this. Like, this is too steep to build anything on. Like, who's going to build anything on here? Like, nobody. So let's use this. Now, I am going to plan, I'm going to extend this road out here. So we will use this section here. But, like, from here over, you're not going to use this for anything. This little area here. So let's use, let's make some more orchards. I think it'll just finish out this kind of area here. Let me turn the sunlight back on. We'll slow this down. Boom and boom. Done and done. Uh, Liam says, I joined the subscription on your other channel. Liam, thank you. Um, you have censor-proof your videos by diversifying your platform that you post your videos on. Yeah, thanks. I mean, that's the plan, man. I mean, I, I might have overreacted a little bit. <laughs> This last week, but I'm telling you, my video got censored on my business channel last week, and it freaked me out. And by censored, I mean it got demonetized for being too controversial. I don't think it was that controversial, but apparently, you know what? It was my first video that I think I've ever done that was really critical of the United States. It was like critical of the government of the United States. First video I've really taken them to task. First video that got demonetized. Huh. What, uh, how does that work? I don't know. I was very frustrated about it. I, it freaked me out. And so I completely diversified my channel. I am now posting on all of these different platforms. I'm posting on Odyssey and Rumble and BitChute and all of this stuff, um, it, which I think is good. I think it's good. Uh, I, I, it, I feel good about it. I feel like I'm reaching so many more communities that I wasn't reaching before. And so I look forward to can keep like growing my channel on like all of these different places. And you know, that's what it's all about. Like make me making as many new friends as you can. You know, I've been doing, I talked about this in my video on my business channel. I've been trying this out on BitChute, which is this other video portal for about a year. I've been posting videos on there for about a year and they actually are, my videos are doing pretty well. I have some videos on there that have actually gotten more views than my videos, than the same video on YouTube. So there are people there like watching them, uh, which is like very, very cool. Like I, I love to see that. And, you know, hopefully one day YouTube will not be the only game in town. You know, there'll be other alternatives and other places to go. So I'm looking forward to that day. Uh, Chase says, I have a game suggestion. If you want, you should play Rocket League with a controller and I will help you to get better. You know, I have never played Rocket League. Um, it looks like a fun game. I don't know anything about it, though. Nick's in chat. Hey, Nick. Nick says, I thought I missed your stream, but now it's an hour later. Phew! Oh, yeah. I wonder how many people are freaking out. Yeah, it's, a, it's an hour later, everyone. Time change. Time change time. <laughs> Liam says, Nick, it's kind of at the same time. Oh, my goodness. I'm looking at this over here. I got to fix this. There's a tree in the road. Tree in the road. Let's fix that. And I think there's another one over here. Yeah, more trees in the road. Got to fix this. These are all roads that I put in here for this extra entrance. Okay, that's that's all of them. Look at this bridge. I, this is one of the bridges from the content creator pack they added. Doesn't that look fantastic? I love this bridge. Oh, my goodness. All right. So we're going to put in some orchards over here. Let's talk about orchards. But, yeah, thank you for your subscription, Liam. That is that is awesome. That makes my day. Yeah, I didn't know I didn't know if anyone was actually going to sign up for it or not. But uh, that's good to see that that uh, that you to hear that you signed up for it. All right, so I think, so these are apple trees here. I think uh, we're going to do some pear trees. Not these pear, I think there's some other pear trees, isn't there? Ornamental pear trees. Um, 
Oh, these are the other pear. These are the ones I'm looking for. These are the smaller pear trees. Uh, so let's do a line here. And then I think maybe we'll split this up between pear trees. And what are the other options? I know orange is one, but I don't want to do oranges because this is not, you don't really grow oranges in the Pacific Northwest, uh, which is where this is supposed to be. So we'll do, we'll do half pear trees. So maybe pear trees to like here. Let's do another line. Pear tree, pear tree. Pear tree. Those are a little close together. Okay, how's this looking? Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I love this prop line tool, man. It makes it so easy to do cool looking stuff like this. I also like I also like maps like this that give you like these um these little spaces. So like, you know, he the, whoever designed this map like kind of partitioned this off into little sections here like here's a section and here's a little section and here's a little section. I kind of like that. It, it gives you like little pieces that you can like do things with. I think it's pretty cool. No, that's too close. Okay, there we go. So I think we got another orchard here. And then what is the other option, though? There's apple, there's pear, and there's orange, I know, is one. But what is the other option? There's one more. Here, let's set one of these down. Oh, I don't think we can. It has to be in a, a building zone. Uh, Shoot. What is the other option? Here, can I put this down if I use Anarchy? Let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm like out of room everywhere. There's no room anywhere. No, I have to do an industry area. Oh my goodness. Liam, do you know what the other fruit tree is? There's apple orange pear and then what's the other one liam says apple trees no i already have apple trees chase says tg just got a win with one one hp it was a crazy ending uh abo is in chat saying you how to enable free money in skylines yeah we're not we're using infinite money um Abo says it's in... Oh, no, Liam's answering oh, if that's a question. Yeah, if it's a question, you do settings. Um, he's saying he's... You're, aren't you saying you played it seven years ago? I used to watch videos about this game. Thanks. Yeah, good luck, man. This is... I love this game. You know, there might be, like, some new players to the game because this week you can get the game for free... On Epic Games. I think it's only available for like another couple of days. But yeah, for right now, you can download it free. The vanilla the vanilla game. Now, the DLCs are all going to cost you extra money. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't have it, I recommend downloading it for free. I mean, come on. <laughs> you can't get a better deal than that. All right. I don't know what the other tree is. Uh, Abo says same. Awesome. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just, well, I got to figure out what this other tree is. I got to figure it out. Where is the industry? Industry. We're going to make a little industry over here. Just to figure out what the tree, what the freaking tree is. Okay, so if this was an industry... Oh, that looks kind of cool there, actually. What a cute little house. 
What a nice little house. Okay, so here are the choices. Apple, oranges, pears, or greenhouse. There is no fourth choice. The fourth choice is greenhouse. Oh my goodness. This is the fourth choice. That actually looks very nice. Maybe I'll keep this here. That doesn't look half bad. We got a little farm here. <laughs> Now, the power line going over it looks a little strange. Or it's going through the building. That is a little strange. Um, is that what is... Oh, my gosh. I'm messing everything up, I'm sure. I'm messing everything up. Oh, that's, how, that's how everything gets connected to power. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Just connect this up to here. Yeah, I think I will leave this. I mean, I think that's a happy accident. Sometimes you get happy accidents that happen, and we'll call this a happy accident. All right. Well, so, you know what? We'll just use orange trees just to put in something different. So we got the apple trees over here. We got the pear trees over here. And then let's use some... Um, or you know what? Yeah, I don't feel good using the orange trees. Because you don't grow oranges in the Pacific Northwest. That makes absolutely no sense. Let's do something different. Let's do something different. Let's do... Um, I've used this before in a, like two cities ago. I used this. Let's do... Um, um, use, like, pink trees. Pink trees are supposed to be cherry trees. And they do grow cherries in the Pacific Northwest. So, you know, we'll have, we'll have a section of cherry trees. Um, I have to find what the cherry trees are. Let's look for cherry trees. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, blossom, pink tree, no, uh, what is it called? I thought it was called cherry tree, but it's not, it's not coming up. Leaves his greenhouses. Liam says, tea was invented from a happy accident. Was it really? Liam says, interesting traffic fixing, LOL. Yeah, we'll do traffic in a second. No, don't worry. Don't worry. I mean, I'm, I'm tr I wanted to do like a, kind of a city overview first before we get into the traffic. Because I think that's important to just put in my mind the overall city of what's happening. Uh, especially for that, my ideas of how I think I'm going to fix this traffic situation. Um, let's see. Abo is LMFAO. <laughs> All right. Um, oh gosh, what is this called? Tree. Ja Japanese. It's the tree that's in this build. But I forget what it's called. Hmm. I mean, we have the we have the other trees. You know, didn't we get a tree in here? We did get a tree in here. Oh, this is a blooming jacaranda. This is not a cherry tree though. This is the new content creator pack that came out. How did these look? I mean, these look nice, but they don't really look like cherry trees. They do look nice though. We could say these are cherry trees. I really want the other ones, though. And they don't show up in here. You have to... 
you have to use find it to find them, but I don't remember what the name of them are. Tree. Oh, you can look up tree this way. Let's just scroll through and see what we see. You know, I am not confident that we'll find it that way. Tree. We'll just scroll through. I know this is not the most enthralling content, scrolling through my trees, but I just want to see if I can find it. Abo says it's Magnolia. Oh, let's see that. I don't think it's Magnolia. Oh, I can use my scroll wheel. I don't have to click. Oh, that's nice. Okay, there's the no these are the normal pink trees right here. These are the fruit trees. We just plant, use those. Here's the new jacaranda tree. It's not that. Oh my gosh, it didn't even come up like, it didn't even come like this. Hey, we got a new subscriber. Uh, Morales, thank you for subscribing. Hmm, okay, let's type in magnolia. Magnolia, nope doesn't come up like that. Yeah, I just I don't know. What what is it what is it called? Uh you know what? I'll look for it. It's the trees that are in this building. So I mean, they're in the game and you have to find it, but you can only find it if you know what it what exactly they're called. So there's this building here. Let me place it down over here so you guys can see it. We'll put a little Japanese garden right next to the retirement home. That'll be nice. So it's this building here. We got these like little pink trees here. That's the tree that I want. Now that I'm looking at it, maybe I don't want that tree. That's That's very pink. Let's use, let's see if we, let's use one of the, the other ones. We'll use some of the other ones. Uh, I don't want to use the jacaranda. So these are the normal ones. I think I'll use this one, actually. Or this one. Oh, this is the bright pink one. Let's use this one. I think this one will look the best. All right, I just need a, something that gives it a little bit of a diff different look. <laughs> this is definitely a different look here. All right. Probably one more line up at the top here. Uh, we're going to go through some other trees. Yeah, I like that. So it kind of gives a little... Maybe we should have some more separation up here. Maybe I'll have like a little road come up here. Yeah, let's do like a little road. So it looks like there's some access into the, into these little areas. Okay, all right. And then I'm gonna grab these trees. I hate losing some of these trees because these are nice trees. So let's just move these to the side of the road. 
I'll kind of fill this in a little bit more. So we'll move in over here. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, these trees have got to go. And then these kind of crept in here. Let's get rid of those ones. We'll get rid of this guy. We'll get rid of this guy. And this guy's too close, too. And these guys are too close, too. All right. So that looks pretty nice. So I like that. It kind of just like finishes off this area. It makes this area look very complete. And then as we extend this out, we're going to do this whole area up here too. Um, but yeah, this we can say this, this area is complete here. All right. So moving on. We're moving on down here. Um, Morales is in chat saying, Hi, are you building a city? Forgive my English. Well, thanks for being in chat, man. And thanks for subscribing. Uh, yeah, we're building a city here. This is supposed to be a Pacific Northwest style city here on the coast. Uh, this is a beautiful custom map um, that you can download from the Steam Workshop. And I mean, I love it. Oh my gosh, there's so many cool things about this map. This is not the type of map you would build like a massive city in, but like I'm not building a massive city here. It's kind of a smaller type city along the coast. Uh, so I really like it for what I'm trying to do. Gift Gamer says it's not centered. What's not centered? I think it looks good. Chase is saying trees. Liam says trees and traffic are similar. They start with TR. <laughs> Gift Gamer says I'm the first to like the stream. What? Where are all the likes at, guys? <laughs> Just kidding. You don't have to like the stream. But if you are liking the stream, hey, let's do a like spike. If you like trees and you like traffic, go ahead and hit that like button in three, two, one, like spike, boom, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so let's go on. Let's talk about the traffic. So this is the road here. This is the road here that's the big problem. And if we look at my metrics, I'm at 67% traffic flow, which is horrible. And it's basically all because of this road here. This is all, like, all of this is, like, green. This is pretty green here. All of this is green. This is green, 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 green. Everything's green except for this road here. It's awful. It's so awful. Oh, my goodness. So, the way, th th what I've learned from watching Biffa. Biffa's, you know, the big City Skylines YouTuber who does all the traffic stuff. Um, he always starts by going to the the first the the beginning of the problem and see if you could find out what the issue is. So it looks like this is the beginning of the problem right here. So what is going on right here? What is happening? Okay, we have a bunch of people trying to get into one lane here. Okay, I don't know why they're doing that. That could be maybe that's part of the problem. So, oh gosh, what an awful junction. Okay, so this is definitely causing some slowdown here. Is there a way we can fix that? I don't really think so. I mean, we could turn this into a roundabout, maybe. We don't really have enough room for a roundabout, do we? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, this is all... I don't want to screw this up because this is our tram tracks go right through here. What do you think? Can we get a roundabout in here? I don't think so. I mean, this is a train track here. I think it would screw everything up. I mean, maybe if we turn this into... a bridge? We would have more space? That doesn't make any sense, though. You know, I could always just delete this road and force everybody to go down this roundabout. Because people are trying to get into the rest of the city here. Oh, see, that's kind of the problem. I wonder if we just delete this road and see what happens. 
I mean, they'll have to come down here and then go down this road, but at least they'll have a roundabout. They can't go... This is not a road here, right? Yeah, this is just tram tracks, so they can't drive down here. Let's just delete this. I mean, this doesn't make any sense. Because, like, you would, ne you would normally want a road here, but I'm not going to fit a roundabout in here. They can come use this roundabout. So that's probably going to make a lot of people angry. Ugh. It's going to make a lot of people angry. So hopefully this roundabout can handle the extra traffic. Let's make sure this roundabout is set up. Okay, so for roundabouts, you want to use Traffic Manager here. And you want to... How come I can't set this? Oh, I need to get rid of this guy. Okay, Traffic Manager, we want to do... Click this, and then hit Shift, Control, Click for roundabouts. So I'm going to do this, Shift, Control, Click, sets up the roundabout. Okay, so I hadn't done this yet, so now we did it. And this just makes it so the people coming on yield to the people who are going around the circle. See, these guys are now yielding, they're stopping for the people going around the circle. Now... I don't know. That might have caused more traffic because these guys are all going to stop before they go anywhere. But we'll see. We'll watch this and see what happens. Yeah, why are they stopping here? I don't know what's happening here. Let me click this. Um, junction restrictions. Let's click this and make sure that they're j not stopping. I don't know why they're stopping. They're stopping for some reason. Okay, so no junction restrictions here. We just turned that off. So I think that helped a little bit. Um, Liam says it doesn't need to be a roundabout. Just manage the traffic. Well, that's an idea. But I just destroyed the road. Traffic problem solved. Uh, let's see. What else did I miss? Uh, Chase says I was the first to like the stream right when the stream started. Liam says, make sure the tunnel is working. I'm pretty sure the tunnel's working. Gift Gamer says, Zach is becoming a pro city planner. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if I'm like pro like some other people who stream City Skylines. Like, um, uh, I, you know, I used to not like city planner plays, but I have come around. He is truly a pro. Like, he, he has, like, a lot of knowledge about how cities work that he brings to the game. I really like his insights now. I used to be, like, so... Because, oh, it drove me nuts, his whole thing about putting the pipes under the road. But now I do that. Now I put the pipes under the road. Oh, my goodness. So he's really... He's not only a good streamer. He's, like, influenced the community on how they play the game. Like, that's pretty cool. I think. Uh, Gift Gamer says, when are you playing in the Yeet Realm? I don't know. I need to finish some of my projects in the Yeet Realm. So we'll do another Yeet Realm stream here soon. But I don't I don't have one planned just yet. Gift Gamer says, you need to find out where people are going. They'll just move the traffic to the roundabout. Liam says, make the road connect at the end under the bridge because you will still have bottlenecks. The road roundabout needs another lane on it. You need a bigger roundabout. Yeah, this probably needs to be bigger. I, I, uh, I don't think that adding a lane is going to do much, though. Because they're all still going to go in the same lane. I think. 
I think if I add this to two lanes, they would still just go on the outside lane. Like, I don't think anyone would use the inside lane because there isn't that many turnoffs on this roundabout. Oh, this is very, this is cleared a lot. Wait, what? Is this not backed up anymore? Okay, this is not backed up anymore right here. Okay. Oh, gosh, like now nobody's using this road. Oh, gosh, there's trees in the road again. Oh, how, do, how does this keep happening? How does this keep happening? Why can this... Why is it doing this? No. Um. Oh, there we go. I had the wrong thing selected. All right, I gotta get rid of these trees. I have this, th I do this with these trees because I have prop and tree anarchy turned on. And when you have it turned on, it didn't used to do this, but it's doing this now that if you had built something over a tree before, it, it used to destroy it and now it doesn't, or it used to hide it, but now it doesn't hide it anymore. See, like, all of these are, like, underneath the bridge. See, I don't mind these little ones by the water down here. That one's got to go, though. That looks pretty good. All right, cleared out those by the road. Okay, yeah, see, this is cleared up here. Okay, so let's go to the next bottleneck along this road, which is this guy right here. Okay, this is our beautiful mass transit station. Look at how busy it is. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, now, this should also be another roundabout, but I don't have a whole lot of room here. That's like my story over and over again in the city. I don't have enough room <laughs> to add things. Um, gosh. You know, maybe we're going about this wrong. I mean, the problem that... The problem that we have so much mass traffic... So much traffic is we have no mass transit from here to here. Let's take... Let's address that problem first. Because the only way to get from there to there is by the road. So let's let's build some alternative methods. And one thing that comes to mind just immediately, I don't know why we didn't do this before. Why don't we have a, a boat, a little boat that can ferry people from here to here? And there's actually, you know, there's actually, this is our central park over here. There's actually a spot that would be perfect for that. Right here. We haven't built anything here yet. Oh, look at this guy. <gasps> look at this. Look at how many people are using our walkway. Oh, I love this. Look at this. It's so popular. People love my city park. Gift Gamer says, why do your roads look so realistic? Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm not using any special road pack or anything. These are just the regular game roads. Uh, some of the roads, some of the roads that are from the original map, those are some custom roads. So there are some custom roads in here that aren't, aren't the vanilla roads. Because the roads that came with the map, I didn't touch. I just kept all those roads. But most of them, I think most of them are just the vanilla roads that I've used. Gift Gamer's taken off. All right, man. Thanks for stopping by. Liam says you have to connect those roads. What roads? What road? Oh, no. The ones I deleted? No, I'm not going to connect them. They're, they're unconnected. They're done. What we're going to do is we're going to build a boat 
dock right here in this beautiful, beautiful section of my city park. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and grab boats. And let's use, let's do the big ferry stop. Oh, this looks perfect. I can't believe, oh, I can't believe I haven't thought about this before. This is like the perfect spot to do this. And look at this. I didn't know this would do this. It snaps to this, the, the, uh, key, the key here. It just snaps to it. Boom. Look at that. that oh, that looks so good. I don't know why we didn't haven't thought about this before. Okay, we got to get rid of all these trees. Let's just go through. Now, I think what we'll probably do... I normally make these one way, but I don't think... I think I'm just going to make it a regular road. Yeah, I think I'm just going to make... Oh, no, that's a dirt road. I think we'll make this a regular road instead of a one... Because I would, I would normally make it a one way, but not in this case. Why is it doing that? It's trying to make it a bridge. Hmm, I don't know why it's making it a bridge. Why are people... People are walking through the building. They're walking through the building. That looks odd. That is a little bit odd. I wonder if we lower it down. You can see the people better. Okay, that looks a little wonky. Um, I think it might just look wonky. I think might, we might just have to live with it. All right, let's bend this a little bit more. And we'll take this and we'll bend this a little bit more. Yeah, it's just going to look weird like that. All right. So we're, I, I don't know. Let's lower this building down. Let's grab this building and lower it to the same height as the key. Let's see. We might even lower it lower than that. Yeah, because you can actually see the people still on here. Oh, look at this. So I lowered it right below the level of the key. So you can still see people walk across the key. Oh, that looks good. I like that. All right. Okay, we'll go with that. And then... Um, Let's go ahead and make the... I don't need these as bridges. Let's make them go on the ground. Actually, be on the ground. Then let's get rid of these little trees in here. Those trees are gone. These little trees are gone. Okay. All right, so I like that. So this is set up. Oh, it needs water and power. Let's get. Let's take care of that. Okay, so we got our water right here. We'll follow up around the road like City Planner Plays tells us to do. Um, and then let's get some power over here. Uh, we have nothing nearby. Look at that. All right, well, we can use our little... Um, what is our emergency the emergency thing we use. Oh, the little earthquake sensor. So this, putting it like right in the middle of the trees here should probably get the power across over. Yes, and it does. Perfect. 
Oh, why does it say no power? Okay, there it goes. Okay, so we have power now. So let's build the other boat uh, ferry stop over here. Now, where should we put it? I think it probably makes sense on this side. And we already have a nice road here that would connect to it. So let's do that. All right, so uh, we'll do a, a smaller one over here. So this is nice. It just fits along the coastline here. This actually, oh gosh, I didn't like that. Let's, let's select it. Why is this not selecting? Shoot, what is happening? Oh, there we go. Okay, this is not in the... Where does the boat come in? Does it come in on this side? Because that might work. Yeah, I think the boat comes in over here. So if that's the case, and this road can just connect up like this... And that looks pretty nice. And this will probably connect up over here too, but um, I don't know. We're not going to deal with that right now. Let's just get this connected up so people can start using it. All right. So this is the, no, not the ship path. We need a ferry pathway. So we're going to use this and then have it come out probably out this way. So come along here. We'll have it come along the coastline. Kind of go around. And just kind of bend around the coast. It'll stop by the marina. You know, we could almost put a, a stop right here. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'd rather have it just come... Come straight over to here, honestly. All right. I like that. Okay, so that's a nice little route for our ships to go in. And how do we draw the ferry line? Oh, we need a ferry depot. I forgot about that. Ferry depot. Where's the ferry depot going to go? Um... Oh, it's got to be on a road and stuff too. Let's put it. Let's put the ferry depot over in the fishing village. You know, we'll say the fishing village. One of the things they do is they construct boats and stuff. So I think it makes sense that they would actually have the ferry depot. We'll put it down along the coastline over here. That looks actually very good. I like that. So this connects up to here, like this. Nice. And then we got to connect these guys up with their own pathway. Kind of like... Oh gosh, it's going to come across these other shipping routes. Okay, so I think I'm going to just connect it like this. All right, so now we should be able to... Oh, gosh, they don't have power and water and stuff. They're so close. Okay, let's put another one of these right on the coastline here. And now they are connected up. All right. Now, finally, let's get in our ferry line. So we're going to start. Oh, this, this is going to be very simple. There's only two stops. Two stops. All right. And again, the whole point of this is this is going to solve some of the traffic problem by just giving another way to get from this village over to that side. Okay, so we're going to have to give this some time and see if this works. Okay, so we got some fairies coming out. That's nice. 
Uh, Liam says, use the roads under the bridge next to the tram depot. Okay, so you're saying over here. You're saying put put a road through here. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, I see what you're saying. That would... Oh. Okay, well, we would have to raise this up. But I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, I don't want to... I want to keep the traffic on this road. I don't want to add... Because if, if we connected this up, we would get tons of traffic coming through here. And I don't, I don't know if I necessarily want that. But unless we have this connected up, what's the point of this bridge? <laughs> what is the point of this bridge? Like, why would you even have a bridge here? You know what we may need to do is we may need to rethink this whole thing. Like, I would like to keep the bridge here, but... We may pull the bridge back, because we have some room to pull the bridge back and fit a roundabout in here. Okay, let's do that, but I, I'm going to do a couple other changes first. Okay, so tram, we got the trams in. That's the big thing. Okay, so this is going to, this is going to, look at all many trams we got. We got tons of trams. Um, then I think I would also like to put in a metro, another metro. And it's just another way to bring people over here. Now, the thing is, look at how crowded this is. Oh, my goodness. So there is a spot over here that I think would work. You know, so these are all, these are all high-density buildings. I know they don't look like it, but these are all high-density with tons of people in them. Oh, that's workers. Three out of three households. I guess not a ton of people, but... Uh, they're all high density buildings. So it would be nice if these guys had. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Building on fire! Someone save them! The fire department's right over here. Why? <gasps> There's police in the church? There's a crime in the church? Oh no, it's in the parking lot of the church. But still, this place is a disaster. Why aren't the fire trucks coming over here and putting out this fire? Oh, they are. They are. The fire trucks are here. Look at them go. And the fire is put out. Thank goodness, because these buildings are beautiful. I would hate to lose these. But I thought, I mean, this is a bustling city park here. You know, I think this might be part of the problem. This park is so busy. This is what's causing the traffic, because everyone wants to come to this park. So why don't we just put a metro stop here at the park. I mean, that would make a lot of sense, I think. I mean, we could just put it right over here. Like, right along here. So let's, let's do that. Or we even have space right here. We could put it, like, right here or something. We're right back here and not like disturb the park. Actually, let's do that. I, I don't want to disturb the park because the park is so beautiful. I mean, we could put it here, but let's put it right here. There's nothing here already. And then we wouldn't have to disturb this like historic park, you know? Um, so let's grab our Metro. And I've always loved Metros just for the fact that they're so small. Slope too steep. Are you kidding me? The slope is too steep. How? Oh, I see. This part down here is too steep is what the problem is. Okay, so it's not going to work. Oh, it'll work right here. Why? Well, it fits in perfectly right here. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Well, it fit in perfectly. Look at that. All right. So we got it in right here. I actually really like that. It's right next to... This is the library. 
This is a cool, like, library building. I love this building. Um, it's really nice that it's, like, ultra modern. Now, I put this in here not as a library, but it was more like a... It would probably be, like, a visitor center type thing. So, I think this makes sense. You'd have the visitor center, the subway stop, and then the main central plaza over here. I think that looks really, really nice. All right. So, we got that here. And then the question is, where's the other stop going to be? Um, I don't think I can connect it up to here because... The, the existing, we have two existing metro stations. Oh, maybe we can, actually. Let's look and see what we got. We have two metro stations. This one goes to Garbage Island, I believe. Yeah, so we have one to Garbage Island, and then one to uh, the, the Main Street and Mansion District. Oh, so you know what we could do is we could... <gasps> I just had an idea. What if we extend this from the mansion district to the truck stop? Then that would make sense of why the truck stop is so big because it's like a cheap spot for you to get a cheap hotel room and then take the metro into the city. Does that make sense? Oh, the truck stop is so packed. I don't know if there's a spot we can put this in here. We could throw it in right at the rest area. I don't want to ruin the rest area. It's so pretty. Yeah, there isn't really any spot I could put it in here. I'd have to destroy something. Um, we could, this is just parking lots, right? Yeah, this is just a parking lot. I could just put it in here. Let's do that. We're getting rid of the parking lot. Wait a second. What just happened? <gasps> Our Wendy's changed. Our Wendy's changed to a coin laundry. Why did that happen? No! Why did that happen? Ugh. All right. Well, I don't know why that happened. So, you now have a metro stop next to the coin laundry. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm having too much fun. All right. So, we're going to do metro tracks here. And we're going to connect these guys up. Oh, gosh. It may not connect up because we have a tunnel right here. Shoot. Why does this not want to connect up? Space already occupied by what? Well, it doesn't want to do it on this end for some reason. Space already occupied. I don't know what by what, though. All right. Well, we can come off this end. So if we come off this end, can't we? Space already occupied. Why is this not working? Am I using the wrong thing here? Metro tracks. Yeah, these are the new metro tracks. I must be doing something wrong. All right. Um, Liam says you need a metro hub. Oh, I don't know if this city's big enough for a metro hub. Space already occupied. So I guess it's not letting me do it because there's buildings here? That doesn't make any sense. Let's 
trying to destroy all of this stuff that's on the surface, but I'm, I'm underground, so I don't know what it's doing. All right, I'm going to have to fiddle around with that. I don't know. I mean, that's not really important to our traffic problem. We can deal with that later. Uh, the problem is this here. So, see, this is working fine. Okay, so we need to connect this guy up. So let's go over here. Okay, this is also saying space already occupied. By what? This is, we're underground. What's occupying this space? Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, gosh. It's trying to put it on the surface. Shoot. Okay, well, good thing that didn't mess anything up. <laughs> good thing. I have this mode on. That's what was screwing it up. Oh, Zach, you're so silly sometimes. So silly. Okay, so I want to come just like across the mountain. Now, honestly, you probably wouldn't build a subway stop just for this. <laughs> but we're doing it. We are doing it. How is this slope too steep? Okay, we're going to just anarchy this in. Because I don't see... Well, I guess that is a little steep. It is a little steep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, no, see, what you would probably do... Here, let's do this again. What you would probably do is just... Because these are both at water level. Here, let's do this again. Sorry, guys. These are both at water level. So what you would do is you would build it straight through the mountain. Not like This is, this is like following the, the contour of the mountain... You wouldn't do that. You would just build it straight. And the game tries to keep it towards the surface, but we can we can make it go so it so it goes straight across. So we're going to get rid of that guy. We'll get rid of this guy. All right. So here we are. Here's this end. And then how do we make it? I forget how we make it. Uh, come straight to here. Okay, so is it? Oh, I think it's doing it naturally. Yeah, look at it. It did it naturally. Okay, perfect. Oh, see, th see, this is how it's supposed to look like. See, it goes, it just goes straight, because you're going from sea level to sea level through the mountain. Oh, that looks so nice. Okay, so that's actually going to be a very quick subway trip. So if we add a subway line from here, oh no, we're not adding a new line. We're actually just extending this line. So let me grab this, grab this line. Bring it, move stop. Okay, they're all happy. They're all happy down here. We'll add the stops back here.
Okay, so we have two new stops here, and then let's let that run. So I think people are going to be happy about this. And we'll add, I mean, this should cut down on a ton of car trips. Just a ton. All right, why did these buildings get abandoned? This was abandoned because worker education was too low. All right, maybe sub the subway will help with this. I don't know. Worker education was too low. Okay, let me reset these buildings. Worker education should not be a problem because they have their own, they have their own college over here. So I don't know what, why that would do that. Okay, that we only had two buildings, so that's not bad. Only two buildings got abandoned. All right, so we have our new subway stop. Uh, now that we know the issue, let's go ahead and fix, connect this up over here too. Okay, so this one will do will do the same thing. Where is it connecting to? Here. Invel is shaped, slope to sleep, cannot build on water. Oh gosh, it really doesn't like this. All right, this this might be a little difficult to get to come over here. So let's go down to here first, and then we'll come over to here. Slope too steep, why? Oh, it has to go over the water there, okay. All right, so we're down to here. Now, can we go straight from here over to here, that's the question. And I think we can. Nice, okay, so it did the same thing. It went straight through the mountain. I like it, I like it a lot. And this is nice too, because there's another, there's another underground road. Oh, it's a train track. Oh, there's an underground train track. I did not even notice this. Okay, hold on. Can you guys see this? Look at these beautiful bridges. I, this is one of the things I love about this map. There's all these like beautiful bridges. There's a beautiful train bridge just out of nowhere that like goes un through the mountain. It goes through here. I love this. And then goes over here and then comes out and then you see it wind around this edge of the canyon here. And we totally bypassed this train track uh, by going, un I think we went underneath it and then connected up to the metro stop, which is over here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, it's over here, it's right here. Okay, so now let's just connect this up. Again, I don't know, this isn't, isn't very realistic because I, why would you build a metro station at a truck stop? <laughs> Have you ever seen that, Liam? A metro station at a truck stop? But I don't know, I, I, I think it's a good idea. I mean, this is this is the world's fanciest truck stop. So you got that there. Okay, and added a stop there. Okay, so. Now people can take the metro out to the truck stop and vice versa. Uh, now let's see if we can fix this Wendy's. I don't know what what happened. What is it now? Jubilee. It looks like it's some kind of weightlifting place or something. Um, you know, I thought I had put it as a historical building, but maybe I didn't. Let's get the Wendy's back in here. Wendy's, where are you? Maybe it's not in here. Wendy's.
Okay, we got the Windy's back. Let's make it historical. That's what it should have been before. And we got the Windy's back. Nice. Yeah, this one... I thought I had marked it historical. I'm, I'm almost sure I did. So I don't know why it changed, but... Oh, well. Sometimes those things happen. All right. Liam in chat says... Uh, oh, Gift Gamer said, don't forget to end the stream. <laughs> I won't forget, man. I'm just having so much fun. Uh, we're, we're trying to see if we fix the traffic problem, so I got to let it run a little bit. Um, Chase is saying, shush to Gift Gamer. Um, Liam says, I'm almost to the 350 hours club. That's, hey, man, Liam, that's pretty awesome. Liam's asking, how's your city map maping, making coming along? You know, I'm almost done with it. Uh, there's some mod things I have to work out. I'm trying to make it 100% vanilla. So anyone who has vanilla City Skylines can da download this map. I'm trying to make it like that. So it's taking a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh, Liam says you need to rename the metro lines so they're different line colors. Oh, that's a good idea. Liam says, never seen a metro station at a truck stop, but it would be cool because you don't drive your truck into downtown because of low bridges and tight roads. That is a really good idea. I had not thought about that, but that's true. So if you're driving a truck, you could go to the truck stop and then take the metro downtown to go visit the city or whatever and not even have to bring the truck in. That's brilliant. I like that. Um, Liam says it makes sense. Yeah. All right. Let's do the, the color thing because I like that idea too. So you said make a different... The lines different colors um do, 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 do. so let's do our line overview here for our metros so we have two lines so what is this line this is um so this is fishing to truck stop and this one is to uh, metro hub to garbage island okay so this one i think we'll make this one like a blue color make it a nice blue color and we'll leave this one green i like it okay so the traffic has gone down a little bit look at now the traffic's only backing up to like here so it's still a problem, but it's a lot less than it was before. Look at all of this. All of this traffic is gone. This used to be backed up to like here. And this is all free flowing. So given some time, this might clear actually. Um, let me make sure. Let me make this so no one's stopping here. Oh, they're not. No, they're. this is going good. They're not really. Is this roundabout set up? Yeah, this roundabout set up already. So this they're doing what they're supposed to be doing here. Um, this is a little this is causing a little bit of backup. This is causing a lot of backup. All right, let's increase this roundabout. We're going to do gift gamer suggestion and making this a bigger roundabout. Um, let's see if we just make it two lanes is that going to solve our problem slope too steep how is the slope too steep how does that make sense slope too steep I don't know what is going on here. All right, this is not this is not so bad. I thought this would look horrible, but it's really not that bad. All right, so we just added a second lane here. So that was just two lanes. Is that going to make it go faster? Yet yeah, they actually are using both lanes here. Look at that. So they are using the second lane. That is not bad.
Okay, so that was a good... Who, Gift Gamer, I think that was your suggestion. So that was a really good suggestion. Um, oh, that's right. We were going to fix this. I do need to connect this back up because it just doesn't make any sense without it. How much time do we have? Oh, gosh. We're at 8.30 already. Ah! Oh. All right. Well, I'm going to have to come back and do do this later. But, yeah, we will we will reconnect this. But it has to be a roundabout. Because otherwise we'll have the same, same issue. And then this. Oh, gosh. I feel like this should be a roundabout, too, honestly. Uh, we'd have to get rid of... I don't know if there's enough room here to do it either. Uh, and we'd have to get rid of this parking lot. But maybe we could put one in. But I think if we did that... That... I think that would... Oh, gosh! The traffic is gone! What? Did we fix it? The traffic is gone! We fixed everything! It's backing up here, but it's not... It's It's moving. Um, yeah, I think, guys, I think we fixed the traffic issue. Maybe we don't need the roundabout here. Yeah, see, this is backing up here now. Yeah, so we either have the roundabout here or we have it here. So let's have two roundabouts. We'll do one here and one here. I think that will really... Uh, th th I think it'll solidify this this solution that we have here. But I think we're on the right track. Look at no traffic here whatsoever. Oh, this is wonderful. This is wonderful. So actually, this is this is working. I mean, it's still a busy intersection for sure, but it's not. It, it's still functional. I like it. And it looks like these people are no longer complaining about not getting their death care, which is good. All right. Well, this I'm going to call this stream super successful. I mean, we got all kinds of stuff. How many people are using these ferries? That's a question. Oh, that's the wrong building. Zero passengers service last week. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, this says there's 48 passengers. Okay, so that's pretty good. 50, that's 50 cars. And then how many people are at this metro station? The new metro station here. Oh, it says 580 waiting passengers. Oh, my goodness. We should up our lines. What? Oh, gosh, there's so many. Oh, we only have one Metro? Oh, that's horrible. Okay, let's add... Let's add some Metros. Okay, we added a bunch. Oh, yeah, we have tons of people waiting on this line. Oh, my gosh. I, what is this high-capacity Metro? 500 people? What? I have to look at these metro trains because I don't know what these are. We, the game added a whole bunch of new metro trains. And, like, this is 150 passengers is 200. And this is 500. I don't know what the difference is. But I'll have to look at I'll have to look at those. I just put a whole bunch just to solve this problem. Okay. Uh, Ryan Studios is in chat saying, I hate traffic in City Skylines. Oh, I like it. I like it. I think it's a fun challenge to overcome. And look at, I mean, we did such a great job today. Look at this. No. Oh, it's completely gone. It's completely gone. Okay. We have some new traffic problems over here, but for the most part, oh my gosh, what? This is the best traffic solve I've ever done. Seriously. 
Um, Liam says it should be green for garbage and blue for fish. Oh, I think that's what we did. I think that's what we did. Liam says slope too steep strikes again. Uh, Liam says you should do more nights of City Skylines. I should do more nights. Uh, but honestly, I'm already like thinking about Minecraft for tomorrow. So <laughs> I'm already excited for tomorrow's stream. Ryan says it's hard on vanilla. Oh, that's true. We're not we're playing modded, so this isn't really vanilla. I mean, uh, I mean we're using Traffic Manager and stuff, so it that does make it easier. Liam says nine point five nine out of ten on trees and traffic. Good job on public transportation. Oh yeah, the other thing we did was we put those um orchards in, which I think are very nice. Let's go back over and look at those. Oh gosh, they very really stand out. Look at that. What a beautiful place. Like, what a beautiful neighborhood. You know, it's just, it's just a, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's a low income area, but it's like out in the country with good organic food in the stores and nice fresh produce from these orchards that are over here. What a great, and you're like, oh, the views of the valley. It looks so beautiful. And... If you want to go to the beach, you just hop on the metro station that's right here. No, not right there. It's you have to walk you have to walk a ways if you live in the poor area. <laughs> so you walk a ways and you hop on the metro station and it takes you right to the beach. So there you go. All right. Well, we're going to end the stream off there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this stream. We got a lot of cool things in. I like this new addition. It was so great we had this like empty spot in central in the in the waterfront park that was just waiting for this this is the, what a great addition to the park and it's right in line with scrappy zebra's headquarter building <laughs> look at that uh but that's gonna be it for the stream thank you guys for watching oh blow just joined chat oh well good to see you blow yeah you missed a great stream we did so much today um hey I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you have a great new week this coming week. And uh, no matter what is going on in your life, always remember to do something fun every single day. Until next time, this is Zach signing off.